and welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. I am Mark Page, your host. Today we are at Euclid Hall, tasting one of the best beers of the year, in my personal opinion, Avery Brewing Company's Sam Ael. This is, uh, this is batch number seven. Um, so they've been doing this for seven years. So the 2011 release, it comes out in April. So I've definitely been aging this for a fair amount of time. Uh, I wanted to crack it open fresh as soon as I got it, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait till October, I'll wait for the Halloween weekend, because that's what this beer is for me. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. 15.31%. Um, this is the English style barley wine slash old ale, kind of blurs the lines there. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this multiple times since its release. Draft, bottle, you name it. Uh, it's one of my favorites out there. I got six bottles aging. Every single year I'll be buying six bottles. Uh, you can pick it up at a store. There's still some available uh, in and around Denver as well as other areas as well. Um, you're looking at about $8 a bottle, so it's definitely an investment. But when you think about an average martini in the ABV and how much ounces you get versus something like this, I mean, this is bigger than most wine on the market. So age it for, you know, six bottles, age it for a very long time. That's my plan. ABV is going to change every single year. This is definitely a work in progress. It's taken seven years to get it where it is. So we're going to crack it open, uh, see, how it, see how it pours, see how it smells, definitely see how it tastes. Stay tuned. So we got the beer poured. As you can see, there's not a ton of head that comes up on this thing, which is understandable, being 15.31%. Uh, not going to have a lot of head retention. But the color itself is almost like a, uh, it's a very, very dark brown with really pretty amber hues that shine up, kind of like rubies off of the side. Slightly hazy, but some really good clarity at the same time. Uh, hazy in the center of the body, but clear on the outside. It just looks really pretty. Um, I kind of wish I put this in the snifter, to be honest with you, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a smell here and see what it's like. All right, so we got the beer poured. This is Avery Samuel. We're going to give it a nice little swirl here, get our nose in there, see what we're going to smell. Cheers. Right away, I'm getting really sweet malt. It almost smells like bruised bananas. There's also a lot of sugar going on. It's really sweet. It kind of smells like cotton candy. So when you got the bruised bananas and the cotton candy, it reminds me of bruised bananas that have been caramelized and brulee. The booze is really well hidden behind that, uh, behind that really sweet residual sugar there. But there's, I mean, there's not a lot of booze coming through it. Touch of oak, though, on the back. I mean, I can already tell that it smells this sweet, that it's gonna be a big beer, especially at 15, almost and a half percent. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste, see what it's like. This beer is awesome. That's all I gotta say. This beer is awesome. All right, so, First impression, it's definitely boozy. There's hotness there. This is not a, uh, a beer that, you look at the ABV at 15.31% and you think, okay, I've had big beers. I've had worldwide stout at 18, 120, 18 to 20%. I can handle this. This is strong and intense. Um, right away, there's caramel candy flavored. Uh, literally feel, I mean, the fruit, the fruits that I'm getting off of it are dark fruits. So you're getting a little bit of raisins, um, a little bit of figs. They feel like they've been dried out and then literally wrapped up in like a whiskey or a rum and left out to raisin it and, and just concentrate flavors. It kind of reminds me of an Amarone, to be honest with you, but not as sweet. Sweets on the nose. This is definitely more oak in the body. Um, On the palate, it's very creamy, it's heavy, it coats the entire palate, but there's tons and tons of oak behind it. Um, this is almost, to me, closer to wine than it is beer, hence, you know, English style barley wine. And it fits it. Um, very boozy on the back end, it's still hot. I mean, this thing's had about six months to age. I know it can age for up to five, 10 years, give or take. 
With that being said, it, it can see more time for sure. Not that it's not worth having this very moment, especially this week during Halloween. This should be something you definitely do the 29th, the weekend before, even that Monday. Celebrate with this. I like this a lot. So you got the dark fruit, the heavy, heavy body, really good oak. It's intense and it's really strong, but I like it. I mean, this is my kind of beer. This is what I drink. I don't like big hoppy IPAs. I don't like weak sessionable beers. I like beer that resembles wine. I like high ABV. I like intensity and very complex stuff. And that's exactly what this is. This is awesome. This is a sipper. Uh, as for things I'd pair it with, absolutely nothing. This is a beer in itself. Honestly, I'd finish my meal and this is what I would crack for dessert. And you know, this is really big for the average beer drinker. This is luxury craft beer. I gotta tell you, it's really weird smelling the bananas on the nose from the yeast, but you're not tasting bananas at all in the fruit. It's kind of a mind trick. I like it a lot. This is just a phenomenal beer. Every brewing, once again, you have outdone yourself. There's a reason you're my favorite brewery in Colorado. This is it. This is one of my favorite beers, Samuel L. Go to the store, pick some up. Don't hesitate. Enjoy it this weekend for Halloween because guess what? It's not here all the time and you don't want to miss it and then find out it's not in stores again. And then you got to wait a whole year till April to pick it up. So don't hesitate. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mark Faze, not your dad's beer. See you next time, guys. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my day off and get in this beer. Cheers. Avery Brewing's Samuel Oak Aged Ale. Guess what, guys? Sucker, little bottle here. Yeah, it's not your dad's beer. Check it out.